Hi, this is my week 5 video log for Ronin at Makers Academy. Um, this week's focus was all about JavaScript and um, not being an entirely new language to me. Um, my uh, overall hopes were to be able to understand it much better this time around. My goal was to really to be able to make something, a sort of a dynamic web page by the end of the week because that's something I really enjoy and I was always quite interested in knowing how to do. Building things is what I wanted to do and building things is what I actually got to do so I'm happy with my progress this week. So JavaScript and jQuery were fine after once I had a couple of days to sort of get, get out of the Ruby mindset really. To be honest I feel that we only uh, just scratched the surface with these technologies this week. I just feel that I need more practice and um, once once I gain that practice in, in the upcoming weeks with, with the projects and also in the Friday challenge then I'll be much more comfortable and more confident in using the, these technologies. The thing that I found generally the most difficult this week is the debugging thing and running tests because when we ran the tests in our spec it normally gave a pretty clear idea of where the error was and it's not the same really in JavaScript. A lot of the time, I mean sometimes you miss a semicolon and the, nothing works. You'll have like 12 tests that work and you write a new thing and you miss a semicolon and then you have no tests that work at all. That was probably what I found was difficult was looking through what I'd written and finding out where, where I'd gone wrong. I didn't so much struggle with putting the functionality in, it was more to do with the CSS and I believe that I really need to focus on those, the front end side of things to make my um, applications look, look nicer. I think the main issue I had, not so much with learning the new language so soon, was getting used to the differences between it and Ruby because you know we have been doing Ruby the last four weeks. I think now is a good time, especially after databases. Databases was a big week as well. So um, yes, I'm happy with it being introduced in week five. Okay, so this week's challenge was to do like a bowling scorecard um, using JavaScript. So you know, you could throw, you had 10 turns, you could score between one and 10 pins, you could get a strike or a spare, um, which I wasn't entirely sure how to approach at first. But I just thought it, it got quite complicated. I, I wasn't sure if it was meant to, but I ended up writing a lot of code in JavaScript. I'd already planned out what I would ideally want the page to look like when I was finished and how I'd want the page to be interacted with. So that was definitely quite helpful when it came to just implementing the jQuery stuff. But it was definitely a tricky challenge.